folks, it's Fat Matt, and this is your painfully late February 2021 Geek Fuel unboxing. I was once challenged not just to find Bigfoot, but train him to sit at a table and eat a meme. Stop playing with your food, you big fat baboon. <laughs> So let's have a quick history refresher here. Uh, Geek Fuel began several years ago doing monthly boxes. That is to say, you would send them money and every month they would send you a box of awesome, well, okay, semi-awesome stuff. Didn't always have some good ones, but anyway, uh, you know, then I'm not exactly their demo. Um, one of the joys of hitting your late 40s, suddenly nobody loves you anymore. You're not anybody's demo. Um, anyway, um, they decided after a while of doing the monthlies, um, they, they said, you know, I'm going to do a quarterly thing. So they went from a monthly box to you send the money, and every three months they would send you a box of bigger more upgraded stuff and of course the problem with that is with a little box like this if they have a misfire you know come on there's always next month with the quarterly boxes if they have a misfire it's like oh shit i spent 60 80 bucks on this um so i i kind of got bored of the of the quarterlies and dropped off and i i guess at some point in time a lot of people got bored of the quarterlies and dropped off because the the folks at geek fuel send an email out saying Hey, you know, remember we were doing that quarterly XP, EXP, XXP thing? Yeah, that's not working for us. We're going back to monthlies. And then I'm like, okay, you got my attention. Sure. Um, so I, I picked up and resubscribed. Um, a good and a bad. Uh, so first and foremost, um, the bad was this version. There are fewer things in here. The older version of the box, there were usually about five or six things per box. These, they're running about four. So they cut back on the content. Uh, the reason why I keep it is Geek Fuel is one of two companies that is honey badger, don't give a fuck, unafraid of lawyers and intellectual property. They've done some things in these boxes that look vintage. Like Nintendo kind of put this out, but didn't put it out and forgot to put it out. Um, in terms of products uh they just they get the packaging down absolutely nail it the other thing and unfortunately they've stopped this and this is one of the casualties of the um upgrade downgrade they they used to do collector pins every box and the packaging on those collector pins was amazing like you know if they were doing the one i remember is the superpowers old action figures um man they the, the super power, the quote super the superpowers uh, pin collection that they did, the the packaging looked like it came straight out of Kenner, circa 84, 85, 86, man. Um, so I, I do miss that, uh, but you know I, I still keep them around because you know, if anything else, right now with the pandemic and everything being as shitty as it is, this is just like a little box of love that shows up every month, even if it does show up a week and a half late in this case. Not that we're mad. Um, <laughs> Uh, anyway, um, it's it's a, just a little box of awesome that shows up. Um, so let's go ahead and let's let's put this in the kitchen and see what's in there, and we'll do some final reflection. All right, folks. So here we are. This is the like I said. This is the February 2021. The painfully late February 2021. I guess they had some shipping issues uh geek fuel unboxing um so the first thing we have here so this is the when animals attack edition and i see jurassic park stuff all over this we're going to look at this last that, that's one of those films that I, again i just i don't have a real connection to um because it came out when I was poor and movies were a luxury and I just never saw it since. 
Uh, fantastic Forgotten Fortunes of Rare Retro Relics, Trinkets, Treasures, and Trash. They're throwing these in like every box now, it seems. Uh, so let's see what's in here. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not. I get to be the judge of that. Uh, we have, oh, hey, look at that. Not one, but two. See, this is what I was talking about in the opening. Um, this this is that mascot, and they used to do some very cool pins with that mascot. And now it seems the poor mascot has just been relegated to insert throwaway trash trinket status. Let's see what else we've got in here. We have a trading card. Oh, Jesus. Baby Legend of the Lost. I'm sorry, Baby, something of the Lost Legend. Man, I can't remember. That was 85, I think was when that came out. 85 or 86. Uh, it's a sticker. It looks authentic. Uh, here... Dungeons and Dragons, enamel pin badge. Okay. All right, let's see what else we've got. We have the t-shirt here. We're going to hold off on that. Uh, super secret stash can. We spared no expense on this can of shaving cream. It may seem ordinary, but remove the bottom and you'll unveil a super secret stash spot. You can hide most anything. Your snacks, valuables, park ticket, raptor claws, fossilized amber, dino DNA, weed, my edition. Uh, the best part is you don't have to say the magic word. And down at the bottom, dinosaur, I keep out. Designed in Denver, which is where they are based out of. So let's, let's take a look at this. I, I may have telegraphed my, uh, holy smokes. They, they are not fucking around with this, man. That, that is for sure a can of Barbasol. Because way back when, in the old days, when I was shaving my head, and sometimes my face, that was my go-to. Except I can't figure out. All right, hold tight. Uh, let's see. Spare no expands. That may seem more near. Remove the bottom. All right, so kids, how the fuck do I remove the bottom without destroying the can? Ah, there we are. And boy, sure enough, I wonder if you can put something in there that would throw the sniffing drug dogs off in the highly unlikely event we ever got raided. And if anything else, an easier, better place to put my stash now. We'll run with it. All right, so uh, the, the box is definitely justified. It's cost for this month. Uh, we got the t-shirt there. I see that. Oh, hey, look at this. A reaction figure. Planet of the Apes, Dr. Zayas. Now, one of the things I, I love about this line, these were the action figures, man. I, I wish I had when I was a kid so many different licenses that they went the three and three quarter route on. Uh, you know, in this case, uh, Cornelius, Nova, Taylor, General Ursus, Dr. Zayas, and Zero. And I, can, I, can, I can run with Dr. Zayas on this. Wouldn't know where the hell to put it, but yeah, so far so good. This this has been a hit. This is where we do the final check and see what we got. Of course, I should probably hurry up and get this back into the camera so we can see. All right, so Titanus Gojira. So it's a two-sided T. There's a chest emblem. And of course, we got the sizing right. We can always appreciate that. Let's see what's on the back side. Oh, yes. All right. This one, 
this this box is a hit. Uh, Japanese art style Godzilla of Godzilla being Godzilla. Flowers, blooms, fire, kaiju, stompy. Uh, I am I am there. So that folks, uh, that. I, I gotta say, this is this is like I got a good feelings on this box. This this is a good box. Um, you're you're forgiven on your uh, on your your lateness of the um, of the shipping on this. So we've got our T-shirt. We have Fat Matt's new stash hiding place. We have the Doctor Zayas reaction figure. We have the Dungeons and Dragons enamel pen that I'm not overly enamored with. Inside there was also a baby Secret of the Lost Legend sticker and their own logo sticker. So let's take a look and see what we've got here very quickly. Welcome to the spoiler card. Uh, all right, so, uh, yep. We have the Planet of the Apes Super 7 reaction figure. We have the super secret stash can. See, I, if everybody's like, oh my god, you shouldn't talk about it. They can call it stash can right there. The fucking word stash. Uh, the Geek Fuel t-shirt. Absolutely love, man. This, this was just a slam dunk box. The Fantastic Forgotten Fortunes of Rare Retro Relics, Trinkets, Treasures, and Trash, FFF, RRR, TTT Mystery Bag. And in the back... We just have the generic when animals attack. So, there we go, folks. That is the box contents. So, there you go, folks. Uh, that was your painfully late, and this, that, that's the official title as far as I'm concerned, the painfully late February 2021 Geek Feel of Boxing. I think this, this in particular was the the winner of the box because yes, shortly I, I think while this is distilling in Camtasia to go up on YouTube, uh, I, I am going to put this put this into service. Um, Y'all know the routine at this point in time. Uh, if if you want to get notified of these on a regular basis, please hit the subscribe button, whatever side or wherever the subscribe is. Um, if you want to interact. I, if you're not a dick, I'm more than happy to interact, especially after one year in lockdown. Uh, leave comments. If you're not a dick, I'll respond back happily. If you are a dick, hey, come on, man. I got the block button. I can get the last word off. Um, tell me what you want to fucking see, man. If, if you see other subscription boxes you want me to give a swing at, I'll take a look at it. And if I want to take a swing at it, I'll take a swing at it. Um, haven't done a cooking video, man. You're here in the kitchen. I haven't done a cooking video in ages. I, I've done nothing with regards to my quest to try and rediscover the uh, the, the Flint-style Coney. Um, so if there's anything you want to see, let me know. Anyway, folks, I will see you all uh, probably later this month, man. It's, it's, what, March 9th, and I got the box today? So I'll probably have the, the March box in about three weeks. So I will see you all shortly. I still got the old stuff I've got to distill and put up, man. I've, I've been lazy as fuck on that. Um, so at some point in time, I will see you soon. So until then, be good. Be good to each other. Stay safe out there. Wash your hands. Wear a mask. Get the goddamn shower. Bill Gates is not going to control you. Fuck, man. This is coming from me. Take care, folks.